In Europe, between 60 to 70% of the soil is damaged, and we're losing healthy soil 50 to 100 times faster than it can rebuild itself. And even here in the UK, in the 30 years between 1978 and 2008, we lost over 10% of the carbon which was stored in our soil. Now, you're probably thinking, why is this kid going on about soil? What's so important about it and everything? And well, purely because it's one of the most underrated and misunderstood wonders of this planet. It can help us fight large scale issues such as climate change, but also smaller and more individual stuff like treating illnesses in people and stuff like that. And so that's why I'm talking about soil today, because, well, we're destroying something that's so vitally important to us. Now, it may not look like it, but the soil beneath our feet is full of life. There's just thousands of different microorganisms, small insects, bugs, and also mammals, such as moles, which can be found living in our soil. And it's estimated that in a single gram of soil, there's about 50,000 different species of microorganisms which can be found within that little bit of soil. And in a teaspoon, there's more microorganisms than people on Earth. And even though that already sounds like a lot of life, we've only actually been able to identify a small fraction of the life that we believe can be found within the soil. And those microorganisms which can be found in the soil are hugely beneficial to us people, as through the millions of years of their evolution, they've developed medicinal properties for us. And now for them, it's used for competing and killing other microorganisms using the antibiotic properties which they've developed as ways of killing other microorganisms. But for us, we're able to extract that and use it to create medicines, antibiotics, all different sorts, which is vitally important for us being able to treat illnesses and diseases. And well, without that life being in the soil, we wouldn't have been able to first develop those treatments for so many illnesses and save so many lives. Now here in the UK, the soil is quite young, even though to us, it may still seem extremely old. And that's because it's only about 15,000 years old, forming after the last ice age. However, in places such as South Africa, it can be billions of years old. Over all of this time, it has been a thriving ecosystem teeming with life. However, it's now under threat. Millions, if not billions of years of evolution and development can be destroyed in a few moments through the use of pesticides and other chemicals used for farming, or through urbanization and other human activities. And as I mentioned in the beginning, between 60 to 70% of Europe's soil is damaged, and we're losing healthy soil faster than it can rebuild itself. And here in the UK, between 1978 and 2008, we lost over 10% of the carbon that was stored in our soil, which has now gone up into the atmosphere and is helping to fuel the climate crisis we're going through. And seeing as this amazing resource provides us with everything that we need to grow our crops, grow the plants which we need to produce our air, provide us with the means to create medicines, seeing as all of that stuff comes from the soil which we are killing, should we not be giving it more respect? Should we not be working to save our dying soils so that it can be more productive once again? And should we not be helping it thrive?